In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way of getting a new parts symbol and footprint. In this example, we're going to use Snap EDA. There are two other online databases that we're going to draw from. One is going to be Octopart and the other is Ultra Librarian. And between those three, you can usually find a pre-made symbol and footprint that's a good starting place. You may want to modify it and we'll see how we can edit them in a future video, but this will be a good starting place to get that footprint and symbol for any kind of component that you might want. So we're going to go to Snap EDA. We're going to look for a couple parts and these are two parts that I think are really uh, powerful parts. We'll use them over and over again. In fact, in board three, for our class project, we're going to use the TMP36. This is a temperature sensor. And we're going to use the ADS1115. This is a 16-bit ADC, analog to digital converter. Uh, that is a really great part, and it's relatively low cost. It talks over the I2C bus, and we'll be integrating these two parts in our board three project. So it's useful to know where to get these footprints. We're going to download the database for these two parts, and we'll see that they come in as integrated libraries. We know exactly how to handle those. We're going to crack them open the usual way, and then we're going to take those those nuggets, the little meat of the nut out uh, that is going to be the symbol information and the footprint information, and we're going to paste that into our library packages that we have created. And I'll show you how we do that for both the local and the global library packages. So here we are with our project. This is the one we've been working on all along. We've added to it some local library packages that have the PCB, which is the footprint information, and the SCH, which is the symbol information. These databases are currently empty right now, but we're going to fill them with a couple of components. And likewise, we have our global library that we've created. Now, we're going to go grab some components online. So we're going to go to snapeda.com. So here is snapeda.com. Now, you do have to have an account, but it's completely free. Uh, so I have an account, and it even knows that it's me. I'm going to search for a part. And so, you know, you can, I personally find this really interesting. You know, I'm always thinking of and looking at new components. This is a two-channel op amp. I've used this one before, a 358, great little op amp. It's a, a low voltage, five volt rail. Um, and so sometimes it'll, you'll get little ads for components here. And I personally, I love these ads because I always uh, kind of find some, some new parts to think about. But I have a mission. I want to find a TMP36. So I'm going to say TMP36. Let's see what we've got. And so here are the TMP is searching and searching. Here they are. Um, well, this is interesting. A time of flight sensor. Hmm, I'll come back and take a look at this another time. There's little bright, shiny objects in front of an engineer. It's a little dangerous to do. So here are our TMP36. These are all the different ver variations of TMP36. And you can see they have different body, uh, different package styles. Um, the one that we want is one of these uh, uh, SOICs. And so we look along and we see, okay, well, I don't want this one. Clearly, that's too much. That's way too much. You must be buying a whole reel for this. And uh, let's see, I've got this one, I've got this one. And there's only a very slight difference between them, but they have the kind of properties I'm looking for. And this one is less than a buck. Oh, gosh, you know, here, this one is even... Uh, Oh, but this is on a reel. So, you know what? I think I'm going to look at this one here. So I'm going to click this guy. And look, it says, yep, I've got data sheet. I've got the symbol. I've got the footprint. I even have a 3D model. All that is available to us. So we click on that part. And we've got to wait a little bit. Here it comes. And look, here is the symbol. This is what's going to appear in the schematic. And here is the footprint. So it's got all the information I want. So I'm going to download. And let's see, I want it for Altium. And it's done. And look what it downloaded for us. It downloaded an int lib, an integrated library. We know exactly what to do with an integrated library. And so without doing anything else, I don't need to do anything else. All I need to do is double click on this integrated library. And what's going to happen? I'm going to be given that option. Hey, do you want to crack this open? So I'm going to click on this integrated library. And what do I want to do? I want to crack it open. I want to extract those sources from it. Now, 
if I just wanted to use it as is, I didn't want to have to go into any trouble, I could say just install that integrated library. But that integrated library would have just one component in it. And if I get 10 other components from Stampedia, I'd have 10 different integrated libraries. That is just way too much to keep track of. I want to crack it open and consolidate all of these new parts that I've gotten, all their symbols and footprints, into one integrated library. And maybe I'll do that next week or the week after, consolidate at the end of uh, some period of time. In the meantime, for now, I just want to crack it open and add those parts, symbol and footprints, into my global and my local library package. So let's crack it open. And remember, it's going to appear over here, and we're going to have a new library package. And inside of this library package is the footprint and the symbol information for that part. I want to move that information, the database entries for the, the footprint and the symbol, I want to move them into my um, symbol and footprint library for the library package and for my local library package. And here's how we do that. So we come over to, let's do this, the schematic first, which has the symbol information. We click, we double click, and here is the, remember, here's the SCH. This is the library. Open it up, and look, it's got one element in it. Here it is. We're not going to spend too much time looking at this guy right now, because we're going to do that once we have it in our library that we want to keep. But, you know, we can go in and we can uh, take a quick look at it. You'll notice that um, it has a footprint over here associated with it. No preview of available, so we're going to have to be a little careful that you know, probably can't find the location because it came down from Stamp EDA. Whoever created it had a file location for it, and it doesn't quite know where it is, but that's okay. We're going to link them in a minute. So here is the symbol for that component. All we have to do is grab this symbol. We're going to copy it. This is literally the database for the symbol of this part. So we're going to um, highlight it, we're going to right mouse click, we're going to say copy, we're going to go back to our projects, and we want to take that database entry and place it in the symbol library for our global library. So here it is, there's a dummy part in there now. Right mouse click, paste, and while we're at it, we'll do the same thing. Well, let's do it for this one first because we're going to want to edit it a little bit. So we'll clean it up, and then the clean one we'll paste in our local directory. So that's the first part. We've got the symbol, and now we, we've got it in our local library. Now we need to grab his footprint. And so we come over here to the, the guy that we imported, and we say, there's the footprint. And again, if I zoom out, I'm doing control, mouse wheel, scroll, zoom out. I can already tell, yeah, there are a couple things I'd like to change in this, but I want to do that once I get it into my library package. Uh, so we're going to go to the PCB library at the bottom. We say, oh, there's only one part in there. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to projects. And now I'm going to go find, let's see, where is, OK, here is my, remember, this is on my global library package. Here's my footprint library. I double click, select it, open it up. Here it is, nothing in there. And I'm going to paste that. And I only have one component, so I'm going to paste that one component in there. Now, if I had a whole bunch of different components that I wanted to copy from one library package to another, select them all, paste them all, one operation. OK, now I've got new components in the symbol and the, um, the footprint. You notice they're not saved. And so I really want to come along and save them. So let's see. So if I, if I highlight and I say save, remember it already exists. All we're doing is saving it, updating it really, and we're done. Now, I can use this as is if I want to, or I can come in and I can edit it. Now, I can save this as it is. This is now in my library package. I could literally just go ahead and create an integrated library uh, and then um, use the integrated library. Or I could just hold off and add another part in there, and then we can save that. Now, at this step, I've got my symbol in my SCH library, and I've got a footprint in the PCB library. But if you notice, you know, when I move this in here, it got kind of confused. 
it doesn't really know where to find the footprint associated with this symbol. In fact, there's no preview available and I'm kind of lost. And so I need to link the symbol with the footprint that's in this associated library. And it's really simple. Here's all we do. We edit and now here's the name of the footprint. That's what's in the footprint library. We just have to find it. It's looking somewhere off into deep space here trying to find this uh, PCB library and I don't know where it is. And so I'm going to say, hey, go look in any library and it will always look in the closest PCB library in order to find that named footprint. And where did it have to go? Hey, look, it's in that PCB library of the sensor um, library package because it's right next to it in that same folder. And so I say, OK. And wow, there's the linkage. Now, in order to do that, Remember, I had to have saved the symbol and the footprint library. I've made a change to that component by linking it, and you can see the little star. You know, it doesn't hurt to save it again, and now it's fully linked. And now, when I look at this component, all I have to do is see down below the name of the footprint for it. Here's the picture for it. And if I say, OK, tell me about it, where did it find that? It found it in the library folder I created my sensor folder and it's in the uh, PCB library of the sensor in uh, of the sensor library package. So I've added a part from the external world into this library package and we're gonna we can come in here and in a later video we'll edit a few things in here uh, and then we'll take the edited and cleaned up symbol and footprint and we'll do exactly the same thing. We'll paste it into our local library so we can use it right away and we'll just hang on to this library package and after the end of the week or the end of the month whenever I want to update and create an integrated library I'm going to come in here and I'm going to and I'm going to compile it and then I'm going to have a new integrated library. Let's do one more part. I'm going to look for that ADS1115. That is a um, a really cool 16-bit A to D that we're going to be using later. So it's ADS1115. Do a search. We're looking for it, looking for it. Aha. Okay, so here's our options. There's a module. No, nah, I don't want the module. I want the part. And I know I do not want a QFN because I don't want to have to solder that by hand. And in this case, you know, these are all TSOPs. They're all the same. They're about the same. Let's see, is there any difference? This one's a little cheaper. Remember, we're not ordering it through SnappyD. All we're doing is downloading the symbol and the footprint. I'm going to order this through DigiKey and I just want to make sure that it's close enough to the, the part so I've got the same pin assignment and I've got the same footprint. That's the only thing that I'm looking for. And that's what this part is, the VSOP. Uh, I think this is the one. I'm going to grab it. So we click and highlight it and that's going to take us to uh, the page that tells us what have we got. Here is the symbol for it and look here's a footprint for it. That's great. Uh, we got everything we need uh, so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say okay download it and it's for Altium and what do you think it's gonna come out as? An integrated library and there's our integrated library. And now how do we bring that into um, our, our global library package? We click it to open it up and we crack it open extract the sources, we're going to get a new library package. Look, we have a couple of library packages here already. I don't care about this one anymore because I've already sucked it dry. I've got the symbol and the footprint information. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to say close project. Do I want to save changes? No, I don't want to save changes. I don't care about him anymore. He's gone. Now this guy, again, here's my schematic. This is for I, I double click on this guy. Here's my schematic. This is for um, the um, the 16-bit A to D and this is the footprint for him. And here's the PCB footprint. I can tell I'm gonna have to do some editing on this and we're gonna do that in a later video. So all I have to do at this point is copy and paste. So here we are with the footprint library. Here's his footprint. I'm gonna highlight him. I'm gonna say copy go back and I want to put him in my library package and he's a footprint so I'm going to open up this guy I've got in here already the footprint for the 
temperature sensor, and I'm just literally going to say paste. I only have one component to paste. There's a new component name, and you can see there's different names, and they used a very complicated name for that footprint. We can go in and change that because we're going to have to link it anyway, uh, but that's okay for now. And then we need to grab the symbol. So here's his symbol. We go to the symbol library. We grab that guy. We copy. And now we come along here. And here is the symbol library for my new package. And I say, OK, let's paste it in. And now it's in. And so again, I've sucked this library package dry. I don't care about him anymore. I'm going to close this out, close the project. I don't want to save anything. And they're history. They're gone. I don't even know where they were saved. If I find them, I'm going to clean them out because I don't need them. I've got this library package now that has the symbol information and the footprint information for my um, two different components. So last step is I'm going to save this guy. And I'm going to save this guy. And we're ready to go. The next step is we're going to go into the symbol library and we're going to do a little bit of editing and a little bit of cleaning up. Because in my integrated library I already have and in the schematics that I build I'm really careful about using symbols that are on a uh, 100 mil grid. And so I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean up make sure these symbols are on a 100 mil grid. And you know what? I don't really like the names for these parts. This is the design item ID. I'm going to change them around a little bit and we're going to do that in the next video.